So without wasting your time, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So the very first thing that you have to do is come click effects and again under effects, you can find this fusion composition. Just drag and drop it here. And once the fusion composition is selected, you come to fusion. So you need to just bring this node right here. This is the text plus node. And let me just join it like this. So you have this uh, transparent background. Now you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in something like, uh, yeah, cinematic. Why not? Cinematic. And uh, I'm going to leave this at uh, light. You can change the font as per your liking. I'm going to leave it at open sans itself. And then I'm going to increase the tracking to a little bit. Like so. Once that is done, once you're happy with uh, your title and everything, just right click here and you can see something called follower. Once I click this, a new tab gets created called modifiers. Now let me come here. Under modifiers, you can find various menus. Uh, the very first thing that I would do is under delay, I'm going to set a value 2. Okay, so that means there is a delay happening between each characters and under the order i'm going to change it to left to right you can change it to different orders here you can even choose random which looks nice as well but in this example i'm going to choose left to right then you have to come to the shading tab you have to do keyframing on this softness so for keyframing what i have to do is let me come to the beginning of the frame and I'm going to hit this two diamonds under X and Y and increase the softness on both to the maximum. And then I'm coming to some frame around 20 or maybe 25. Then I'm going to reduce the softness of X and Y. So you have this nice blurry reveal from left to right like so now if you want to make it random you can come here under timing and change this from left to right to random but one by one now if i come to the edit page and if i bring this fusion composition here or somewhere around the middle if i hit play this is how it looks you can even make a small fade here so that it doesn't appear like suddenly Cool, right now if you want to save this particular effect you can bring in your power bin so to bring in the power bins you click on these three dots and there is an option called show power bins so which means if you drag and save it here you can use it for all your projects so I have saved it here and if you want you can just rename this text reveal so what happens is for your next project you can just drag and drop this one you can change the title if you want you come to fusion come to tools i'm going to change to something like countryside maybe decrease the tracking like this yeah and now if i hit play all those same effects applies over there as well. Now I hope this video was helpful to you. You can use such cinematic titles to your videos to really level up your videos to the next level. For those who don't know I'm Fenzer, I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.